So, so we try. Okay. Uh, good morning and uh, welcome to the press conference uh, of uh, Ruben Brand Collector. Uh, the film is an animation uh, feature coming from Hungary. Uh, it will have its world premiere tonight on the Piazza Grande. Uh, and uh, just found out we'll have a already very nice festival run after Locarno, so we are happy about that. Uh, and I'm very welcome to uh, I'm very glad to welcome our guests, uh, starting uh, with the director of uh, Ruben Brand Collector, Milorad Kristic, on my right. Welcome. Peter Miskol, Miskolzi, the co-writer and co-producer of the film Rada Ausko, and then uh, on the left, uh, or now similar in this picture, it's difficult for me, uh, Marcel, La Marcel Laflo, uh, animation director, keyboard yeah. Sari composer. And Sipo Slevente, technical director of the, this complex. <laughs> so please, if you have a question already, it's uh, up to you. Uh, yeah, please go ahead. Hello. Uh, okay. Uh, I saw your name uh, almost everywhere in the credit of the film. Is there anything that you didn't do in this film? If you, I don't know whether it's advantage or not or minus, uh, but somehow when I'm uh, thinking of uh, uh, making a film, uh, I already have uh, the, this film before it in my head. Uh, then after that I try to sketch it, uh, for example, and uh, somehow make the material out of my ideas in, the, in my head. Those ideas in my head, they are, they are visual ideas and uh, they are followed through with the appropriate music, uh, sound, uh, dialogue, whatever it would be. And that's, that's uh, how I am so close to every character, every um, props or every background in the movie. I am in fact the painter and uh, as a painter I like to finish my painter painting and uh, to sign, sign it when it's uh, uh, finished. And when I make the painting, I really never ask uh, somebody for the advice, uh, even my <coughs> dear wife, uh, Rada, uh, no, my friends, I just sign it. I have in my head, I expressed it and signed it. Now we have the, another kind of media, it's a movie. And I call it movie feature, feature feature film, just the animation form, but it is movie. And uh, making a movie is a, a team work. It's not just what is in my my head, but I must have a, a lot of creative collaborators. And I was uh, happy to have uh, in Hungary uh, enough talented collaborators and we succeeded, succeeded uh, to make, to finish, or somehow to, to, to make it better, to design all the visual ideas and ideas I had in my head uh, uh, before. In that way, I said it could be an advantage, uh, but uh, for me, it's uh, just uh, as a starting uh, point when I have all the film in, uh, in my, my head, and thank you to my uh, dear collaborators. We can finish it and to have the one and a half of the movie at the end. For, for me, uh, your film is a really masterpiece. Uh, great thank you. Film. And yeah. how did you get the idea? Is it uh, something from your work, from your experience, something that you was talking with your friends, painters, or something about yeah. doing? <laughs> As I said, I'm a painter, and in fact, I have started to. Uh, draw and I remember it was uh, four years and uh, I still am uh, bringing a pencil and paper with me and uh, I'm a uh, uh, painter and when I was thinking several years ago, it could be the eight years ago, uh, somehow it came to my mind to, to make a feature animated movie 
uh, I was out of doubt. Uh, I must do, make a, one a feature film, animated feature film about the paintings, about my work, my visual work belong to paintings, and somehow I. I uh, adore paintings and painting world, but I adore movies. In all my life, those, those two parts of legs were the, the, the strongest. And I said, now if I want to make a film about the paintings, about movies, whatever, it must be in some uh, attractive form. Uh, the form, if I talk about the, the paintings, it could be interesting if I talk as uh, some critics, but it could be boring after five minutes. You know, you can't talk, or it would be a documentary to speak about the different paintings. Uh, I say I like Manet or Goya, or I talk about my uh, own paintings, but it would be just a short documentary or uh, some uh, film about, or some author's film about the art. Uh, but I don't want to express myself in this way. I want to make something that would be interesting for the uh, audience. And I say that the appropriate form could be, at least for me, it's a uh, crime. It's a heist film. Well, let's be a robber. Instead of robbing them, there is a guy who could, uh, who will rob the museum and the most famous museum of the world, the most famous private gallery, galleries of the world to get the painting he wants. Now let's make the story why he is a robbing, why he is a, uh, robbing every day the famous museum of, of galleries and somehow we say okay let's make that this robber is not because of the money not because he is a collector like in the title he is a collector but maybe something stronger like the guy is a force how does it he is forced is forced with a gun on his head somebody said some black made him or uh, force him to draw. No, he's forced by himself. He has a nightmares. In nightmares, the character for famous paintings from Velasquez uh, uh, in Fanta Margarita, uh, for five years old sweet uh, princess, is uh, haunting him in uh, his nightmares. And so let's be developed in the story that he's uh, haunting. The only way to get rid of this nightmare nightmares is just to possess this painting. When he possesses the painting, he can get rid of the nightmare for this, this uh, special uh, painting. And that's how we make the, the, the story. And I do hope uh, the story works. Yeah, my only, only uh, wish was to make uh, one uh, visually interesting uh, feature, uh, animated film which is uh, not uh, boring for the audience. And this uh, crime, crime story can give him this story from the beginning uh, to the end, I do hope. Your story with film, because you have done a short film before in 1995, which won the Silver Bear at the Berlin Film Festival. Now, quite a few years later, come your first feature. I would like to ask you, how many years, how many, how long you were thinking of planning this uh, this uh, debut with the Urban Band? Uh, I am not uh, planning my daily uh, life. I know I must uh, make something uh, with my pen and the paper, as or it could be sculpture or uh, uh, sculpture. Uh, yeah, sculpture. It could be uh, some stage design. It could be some costume or it could be some uh, shot with photograph, uh, some documentary, whatever. Uh, I am all in vision and uh, I am not uh, uh, planning so much in advance. And uh, it just uh, happened uh, eight years ago that uh, it came to my, my idea, why shouldn't I make a, a feature animated uh, movies? And I have started to make some drawings. In fact, it wasn't this way, it was uh, a little bit uh, opposite. I first made some several drawings, and these drawings look like the scenes from a uh, heist movie or some action movie, some thriller movie. There are several figures there, and like there are some dialogue, whatever, and that inspired me. I started to work on it, uh, and uh, together with my wife uh, Radmila, 
were walking, talking uh, about the, 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 the story and saw somehow the uh, Ruben Brandt the story was born. I am a painter and two of my favorites are uh, Peter Paul Rubens and uh, Rembrandt and uh, somehow I combined those names uh, to be uh, Ruben Brandt, Rembrandt, Rubens and Rembrandt to be uh, to be uh, to, to be the name of the, this guy who is uh, robbing the famous museum. You were always thinking about using digital animation techniques, or at the beginning of the process, you were thinking that there'd been a traditional drawing animation. I always make a traditional drawings and then scan it and put it in the computer. And uh, I am using the up-to-date technology. Uh, because it's, uh, uh, I, I'm sure, all the famous uh, uh, paintings, uh, Leonardo or Michelangelo, will use uh, uh, those digital uh, techniques in that time. And uh, I am very glad to use uh, traditional uh, drawings. And uh, I do hope uh, this, uh, this uh, cooperation between uh, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the original hand drawings and the digital computer generated uh, will work perfectly well in the future also. First to the director and extend it to, to the crew. And uh, if we see this film, we see mm -hmm. a very intellectual project. At the same time, I think there is a, uh, there is a bit of a, there is a, a bit, there is a lot of Hungarian spirit. What is really Hungarian about this film? I mean, in, in the sense of the storytelling, and also there is a bit of a sense of uh, uh, it's funny, but also a bit melancholic, the, especially the main character. And I wonder if this was a way to capture the spirit of you know, the country that yeah. was you and the country. And the tradition of the Yeah. I, I, not by chance, I lived there for the last 25 years in the Hungary. Uh, I was born in uh, Slovenia, in the, the Serb origin, and I lived in Croatia, in Poa, uh, and uh, somehow uh, I, I belong to this part. It was, uh, so to say, all I lived in, in the northern Serbia, it's Vojvodina, Novi Sad, it was Austria, Hungarian monarchy, one, uh, one more, uh, I mean, 100 uh, years ago. And uh, somehow there is this uh, uh, Hungarian, uh, Aus, uh, uh, they say Austrian Hungarian monarchy. There is some uh, some uh, middle Europe European spirit, and uh, I started the film with with Frigesh uh, 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 Karinti. He said in my life, in my dream, I was two cats, and I was playing with each other. Not just uh, one cat. I was two cats, and it's a it's a point. It's a very be uh, important for, for the movie and uh, Ergen Ishtan, another uh, writer with so close for me, uh, it's my favorite one. And those middle European from the Czech, from the Hungarian, from the, this part of the middle Europe, this uh, kind of humor, it's so close to me. It's uh, like watching the some uh, Hrabal movies or, or whatever. And uh, I must say that uh, uh, we succeeded to, to make it in Hungary, and uh, I belong to this uh, uh, part of the, the collective work, um, made, uh, so to say, 100% in, uh, in, in uh, Hungary. And I do hope that uh, uh, our style in the movie and our humor is uh, not just uh, typical for the Middle Europe or uh, Hungary, but it um, could be universal.